Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Final Fantasy Revexes video, and I noticed actually on my channel I don't even have an overdrive guide. I thought I did. I, th I assumed that my past self would have made one, but I do not have one. So we'll be making that one today. Some of you may already know what overdrive is, but some of you guys still don't, and you, some of you have been wondering what overdrive even is. So, Overdrive is a new mechanic in the game similar to SLB, similar to Brave Shift. It's a new type of character not in SLB because this character... Overdrive characters allow you to have the, the best LB at all times. Like a normal, like a normal unit. <clears throat> There's no Brave Shift involved still, but... You, allow, you don't have to wait several turns to use your best LB. So that part out, the damage part out of the way, let's talk about the actual mechanic of the unit. So, I've got Titus here as an example. I could have used Cloud, but we're, I'm using Titus. Because uh, I already have the team built for this for this particular situation. So, an overdrive basically is a, is a in, in terms of what characters you bring. So for example, now this is, Titus is the first one to do this. So, uh, normally they're category restricted. But, let's just say... There's a character that has the Guardians as a category requirement. If you have, if you have a certain number of characters that are the Guardian uh, on your team, they'll be affected by this buff. Um, and also turn down the timer. It's, uh, it's, one, it's zero out of ten at the start of the battle. Every action you take doesn't matter if you if you only do one action or three actions doesn't matter. It's all count, counting as one in terms of the turn counter. And I'll I'll show you how, what that means. Uh, in a bit, but if you accomplish getting, see right, you don't need to learn Japanese. Let me read it off for you. Uh, just don't be, don't turn off the video just yet. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what this means. So you need to perform ten actions, and you can use it three times. That's what that means. And here's the buff. Titus is the first one to do this, and it's broken. Uh, Thirty percent, like water amplification. It's not like an traditional water amp but it's like a it's like a modifier for water damage for for two turns 30 percent so there's that and so only the people who have this uh this here this is the restriction this is water only people who are water are going to be able to get this buff if you bring like for example the guardians example if you bring one character that's not the guardians number one it's not going to count towards the 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 timer and number two they're not going to get the buff so let's show you what that means in the battle itself this is just a quick way i, I like still using this for examples because i don't have to worry about bosses or anything so here's the turn counter here's zero out of ten like i said and we're gonna do this this is counting as one action obviously you're not gonna normal attack in a real battle but you see it counts as one now I'll show you why, because I know someone's going to ask this. If you do this three times, will it count as more than one action? Let's see. It does not. So, it doesn't matter how much you do in the turn, as long as the unit acts, it will reduce the timer. Obviously, with six people, this will be a little bit faster, but we can't bring six people to this. That's still fine. So, we're just going to do five actions. Technically six actions because actually on the screen it would have been activated if we had a party member and the best part about uh, overdrive characters is that Once you use this buff and as you see here Sorry about that. Uh, if all these people will be affected by this buff now if you like I said if you brought a character That's not under this category. They would be darkened out. You wouldn't they would not receive the buff like for example cloud um his 300% full buff would not affect characters outside of his category. But, for this, he is using it for everybody. So, and once again, like I said, it does not take up an action uh, uh, this turn. So you know you use this. Uh, it's not like it's not like singing like a bard song or anything like that. You have to waste a turn. Uh, you still get to act. So that's what makes these overdrive characters the next best thing. That's why I've been talking like, quite a bit on my channel. And the reason why Guma, I think, is not uh, releasing them just yet because they are—they're—they're they're gonna change the game and they're gonna have to start. 
changing how Clash Rules bosses interact with the player now that these overdrivers are going to be super broken. And so, yeah. Clouds is going to be quite good. Like all, every overdrive is good because it's th the, the first one started as 300% full buff. And what, I mean, I'm, what I mean by full buff, I mean besides HP and, and MP. But the other ones are 300%. And that stacks, by the way, if you're still not knowing, uh, this overdrive stacks on your normal buff so you can have for example, for example, I mean, I'm not saying you're going to use her, but just an example, Aerith, 400% full buff on top of Cloud's Overdrive. So that's 400 plus 300% attack and magic and defense and spirit. And like I said, that stacks. So it's not like a normal buff, it's like a side, just like, a, just like how the field effects have certain, you know, buffs where you're normal amp and then you can use a field amp. So it's, it's similar to that, and that's all, the, all there is to it. It's a pretty simple mechanic, but it's just, it's balance. The balance is, is in the, that you need to bring characters that are in the category of that overdrive character in order to make it work. So it's very powerful, but you need to make it work with the specific teams that you can use them on. And you don't worry about the only being able to use it three times because if you if you've used the buff three times and you haven't won yet, then you're doing something wrong because that's three times is plenty. Three times is plenty as long as you're using it correctly and you're all set and you use it and then you you do the damage, you should be fine. All right, so that's gonna be it for the video. Very quick guide. Like I said, you don't need to know Japanese because this will be on Global. I'm assuming Global is gonna get it this week if you're watching this video on Monday when I drop this video or next week or sometime sometime very soon. Global will be getting this and they'll have all the global, you know, English information on their live stream, you know, the, all their slides and stuff will tell you more about it and, and more and more and uh, more in depth than maybe even my video, but or maybe at least comparable to this video. I'll say that much. I'll give myself a little bit of credit. Uh, anyways, if you have any more questions about the overdrive mechanic, let me know in the comment section down below. And like I said, there are several characters now that have overdrives. Um, Cloud is one. I think Cloud is the, the most known one, but there are others. Let's, let's, let's actually look at a few of them. So here's Terra. This is a normal uh, overdrive buff of the 300%. And this is the category that you have to be under. I don't remember what, I don't remember what that is. It's probably like the Guardian, like the Gathering or something. Uh, but 300% full buff for two turns and you can use it three times. So it's, that's the normal one. T just is the first one to have something that's not that, uh, that way. But the rest of them are going to be the exact same. Like here's Cloud. Here's this buff. This is what's going to be coming to global. 300% buff. And also he's not the first one, by the way. Uh, Vaughn was the first one. So let's look at Vaughn. His is the exact same as Cloud's, but his is going to be a different category. So. 30% full buff as long as you're in this category. Um, so yeah. Alright, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate ya. As always, spread this video around if you have people that don't know anything about Overdrive. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.